Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Sweet Water Goddess, and today I'm going to do a video for the empaths. So let's see how your empaths are handling all these retrogrades. So I'm going to give you a reading for today to help guide you during this sensitive time right now. Make sure you guys are doing okay to give you some advice. So Archangel Metatron, what advice do you have today for the energies of empaths, the collective energies of empaths? What do they need to know to help them on their spiritual journey? Empaths. Cards? It's, yeah, it is. It seems kind of late, but okay. Peace and blessings, Archangel Metatron. What do we need to know for the empaths today? They want you to listen to music to help you manifest. So, 432 hertz frequency is a frequency of love. Um, love is the highest frequency in the universe. If I were you, I would play some of that music. You can get it from YouTube. 432 hertz. For love, what is it that you love to do the most? What is it you want to attract? You want to attract love into your life? Play that. Play that and visualize what you want to manifest. So to manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Accept help from the universe. So let your guides help bring in your manifestations, okay? So when you manifest, one of the secrets to bring it in faster is to put your thought or visualization out, out into the universe and then completely forget about it. So let the universe uh, do its thing. Let go of control issues, okay? Let go of control issues so the universe can bring in what it is that you're wanting to manifest. You can't control every step of your life. Some things in your life are predetermined and pre-written. So let go of control issues and let the universe step in and help you. So some of you guys need to break free. Break free. So release fear. Just break free and have fun in life. Dolphins resonates with having fun, being playful. So they want you to break free from whatever's weighing you down. Life is too short for that. You can work with Archangel Michael to cut cords of all negative attachments, cut the cords of fear. Anything that's not serving your highest good, break free and cut the cords. It's time to move on. So what else? What should we use next? Let's hear what the fairies want you to know to connect to nature. Nature spirits. Let's connect to the nature spirits at this time. Peace and blessings to the collective energies of fairies. What do you want the empaths to know? at this time on their spiritual journey. So some of you guys are in the middle of a transformation. I love this card, it's so pretty. So step outside in nature. When you go outside, the fairies and nature spirits, they shine light on you. And this light helps to transmute darkness out of you. So light heals all darkness. So go outside, connect with nature. The fairies wanna help transform you to your higher self. They're going to shine light, healing light on you. So go outside in nature. Go outside. I went outside earlier today, took some pictures. Go outside and connect with the earth. They want you to surrender to transformation in your life at this time. All transformation, whatever is releasing from your life is for your highest and greater good. So don't fight it. Don't fight any changes at this time. If you've, it's going to be for your highest and greater good. Even if it seems negative, there's always some type of light and positive meaning behind negative situations. If it's not a blessing, it's a lesson. So embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. And the butterflies are here too. So if you're seeing butterflies a lot out in nature, a transformation is happening, okay? So tree wisdom. Tree wisdom. Go outside and meditate underneath the tree. And see if you hear anything, if you get inspired thoughts. So go outside, sit by a tree, hug the tree, talk to the tree, thank the tree for its wisdom, and see if you get an inspired thought with meditation. So connect with tree spirits at this time. The fairies want you to connect with the tree spirits. So let's see. 
So you're flourishing right now. Um, this looks like a pregnant person. Look at her stomach. It looks like she's a little prego. So the Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life and those of others. So you can call on the collective energies of fairies to help shine their light on any darkness known and unknown in your life. So when you go outside, take a moment to connect with nature and the nature spirits. And you can ask to the collective energies of fairies and nature spirits. Please shine light on any dark areas in my life, known and unknown. Transmute that shit into light and positive energy and love. We have no time for darkness right now. The earth is shifting to 5D. Let's not forget that. I think a lot of people are starting to get adjusted to our new way of life. Yeah, okay. You better focus on your fifth dimensional way of life. Because we don't know what they're going to come out with next. So what is the energy surrounding empaths? Archangel Metatron. What is the energy surrounding the collective energies of empaths? Some of you guys are so sensitive right now. Make sure you're taking your spiritual cleansing baths. Wearing crystal jewelry. Wear rose quartz to help bring in self-love. Love for others. Amethyst for protection. Black tourmaline for protection. You can wear smoky quartz crystals to help you stay grounded. What else? One more card. Oh my God. So the energy is kind of... Oopsie. Somebody's getting ready to make a bad motherfucking choice. Look at this. Storm warning. Indecision. Someone doesn't know what path they're supposed to take. Some of you need to sit the fuck down and meditate. Because if you don't know what path to take after you've had consistent tarot moments, there's something wrong with you. There's something unhealed within you. You need deep healing. So a storm warning is coming. A tarot moment is getting ready to come because somebody has a choice to make and you better make the right motherfucking choice. You better make the right choice. It's Venus retrograde. If you're about to make a choice in love, you better choose your higher self. I hate for you to run to a karmic because it could possibly kill you this time. So make sure you're making positive choices at this time. But look, it's divine intervention. The angels of balance are here. The angels of balance. It says, you know what? You, you don't make good decisions. Let, let, let me help you. So the angels of balance is here to restore balance because somebody is getting ready to make a stupid ass choice. Indecisive. Making choices based on fear. No, it's not happening. Okay? It's not happening. The angels of balance is here to make you help you make the right choice. Help guide you. This retrograde is going to fuck up some of you guys. Don't do it. You better not do it. Make wise choices. If you can't make a choice, you better sit down and just wait. That's how I would do it if I were you. Let's see. Do we want to dig? and Do we want to clarify? I don't want to clarify the indecision card. Some of you guys need to make the right choice. Some of you guys don't even have a blood clot choice because the universe is coming in with this tower moment. And the angel says, uh, we got you. Because there's probably things unseen. There's things, people are doing work behind the scenes to make you make false choices, make you make the wrong decision. There's people in your life who are watching your every single move. Don't want you to live in righteousness. Don't want you to be abundant. Don't want you to live your divine life path. These people, these dark entities, they're going to get themselves... They're fated to suffer. Let's put it like that. They're fated to suffer because some people are divine. They have divine plans. They have a life purpose for the earth plane. And any of these dark karmic people, they're dark entities. They, they work with demonic entities and spirits. They call them demons. They don't work with angels. They don't know the angels. The angels don't know them. These people are fated to suffer. And the angels have stepped in to create, to restore balance. So you are protected and make sure you're protecting yourself. 
Archangel Michael is a great angel to work with for protection. And Archangel Metatron is here as well to help block dark entities. But you, the human, have free will to make a choice. So make sure you're making the right choice. If you don't know if you're under voodoo attack, psychic attacks, if I were you, I would light an Archangel Michael candle for protection right now. And ask Archangel Michael to help you make the right choice. Make right choices in life. But the angels of balance is here to help restore balance and peace of any darkness in your life. Okay, empaths, I hope my messages have helped you today. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let me know what you think of the video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Peace and love. Bye.